Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Little Did I Know. <laughs> I am your host. It's just your name. That's all. <laughs> I was like, I know there's more. Oh, okay. And welcome to episode number 31 of Little Did I Know. I am your host, Stephanie Parks. And I'm your host, Shauna Zolman Mahaley. Little Did I Know is a place where two friends share our journeys through life, the good and the bad, while never losing our laughter and always remembering our names. Our names. That's important. <laughs> That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so once you find us, you can go back and listen to all of our other episodes. We are wherever you stream your podcast. And we would also love it, if you haven't done so already, to give us a like and a subscribe and share it with your friends. Okay. So, everybody knows my fun job facts. is a fun fact. And I want to set the premise of this, okay? okay? Kansas City, November 11th, Veterans Day. Correct. Thank you for your service. Um, it is snowing and ice. Mm. It was 60 degrees this uh, weekend. It is like a negative 100. I don't even know. <laughs> the um, blessings so of that, living in the Midwest. I'm I know. Sorry. We had 18 days of fall. They were the best 18 days, but still. <laughs> um, and now we're into winter. They're calling it November-ary. So oh. November and February. So look what we have to look forward to. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so I'm sitting in my office with the fireplace going. Okay. Oh, nice. Ambiance. But if anybody is planning a winter getaway to an amazing hotel and resort, um, this is what I want you to know. Keep this in mind. Okay. If you are swimming in a pool and you get out and your eyes are red, it is not a chemical issue. There's pee in the pool. No! Fun fact. Yes, it is. Yes, Every it is. time I feel like I'm in a pool, my eyes are red. You are swimming in a pool of pee. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, a long time ago, like, I had friends who had, like, private pools in their home, and they would be like, um, just so you know, we have a device that will be like a blue dot that will oh, follow sure. you around if you pee. And I was like, oh, no, I, I don't ever want to pee in here. Um, have I peed in a pool before? Mm hmm I have. Oh, you yeah. guys know I can't hold it all the time. So I have. <laughs> it's part of I'm your American honest. citizenship. I have. <laughs> However, I now realize that I have contributed to people having red eyes in the pool, and I feel bad about it. <laughs> That's why those <laughs> those summer community pools is just like a cesspool of your nation. It's a cesspool <laughs> you just of me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that specifically. Thank you for that fun fact. I think. So that's what I do. I bring the fun. And the fact, and we meld those together, and that's where you get ah, fun facts. I see yes. how that goes. I'm not because at first I was I was confused. I know. That's the way I tell a story. Now I will tell you, I told stories this weekend, and Tom was like, "You just told the worst story ever." <laughs> My girlfriends, who are so used to the way I tell stories, they were like, "No, she didn't." <laughs> That was the best twist and turn. We didn't know where she was going, and then she ends it, and it's amazing. And I was like, thank you. That's exactly right. So I even do it with a fun fact. I lead you one way, and then there's a zinger at the end. Good job. Whenever Antoine shares a story, it's always usually ended by me saying, land the plane, babe. <laughs> land that plane. <laughs> I get I I like him for that. I understand. I do. Um I just feel like there's a lot of extra details that need to be added in to create the best. Oh, you, know, you do a great stuff. job with those details. Thank you, B. That means a lot to me. <laughs> and I know you mean it. It's not sarcasm today. No, it's not. No, it is not. <laughs> okay, B. So here we are. Um, this year we are focusing on real life. Like we are just being as real as we can, real and raw, right? True. 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 Um, yep. I have not brushed my hair or my teeth today yet. <laughs> I, we celebrated, um, all the things this weekend and I'm feeling it today. So there we are. That's raw and real, real life. I love that. Um, so I have only because. There's like some extra odors I feel that come forth from your body when you're pregnant. So you're I have right. to make sure I take care of that every single morning. 
You're right. Yeah. Otherwise, I might be with you. Well, last week I was in my robe. You were. (laughs) You were. That is correct. You were. And let's even remember, I was dressed You were to the nines. Thank you so much. Um, So, you know what? We're a yin and a yang. That's just how that works. It is. Um, So I thought it would be really fun to kind of do um, a couple questions. Like I want you to ask a couple questions and I'm going to ask a couple questions just to give answers to. It's not something that we've studied up on. Correct. It's not anything. It's just kind of like, hey, we say this all the time. Like I think the very best conversations are cup of coffee, sitting across the table, Like, let's have those conversations, right? And not just surface. I am so over surface (laughs) bullshit. I can't do it. Um, So. We don't do that well. That's for sure. And these are some good ones that you had for us to to choose from. Okay. Oh, great. So So do you want to start or do you want me to start? um, I'll I'll start since you're drinking and you can't say otherwise right now. Water. Water. Sorry, you're drinking water right now. Hydrating. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. So question number one. Mm Mm-hmm. It is going to be, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? Oh, wow. I think I would start a business. What kind? Well, a couple. Barista. Like coffee. For sure. The coffee hut thing. Like I would do that right this very second. If I knew I wouldn't fail at Not it. a bikini barista. No, no, no. Because that's where the fail part comes from. <laughs> Sorry, um, you can't fail. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I was like, I would do that with a perfect, okay. Um, but no. Um, I, I think I really would. I think that's the scary part of, I, I would love to do that. I would love it. Like, I've even thought about, like, I would love to do a bed and breakfast. You know, something... Ah, but the coffee shop, the drive through and then I think I would franchise that mother and it would just go <laughs> far and wide and I would just, we would just be super successful coffee hut people. I love it. Oh, yeah, I can definitely <laughs> see you in that. Like t-shirts and logos and hats and bumper stickers and, you know, outside fire pits and, you know, oh. all of that. So wait, wait, so it would be a drive through hut with outside fire pits. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. because my thing is people would want to stay because one that barista has a great personality and she (laughs) tells a great story so we don't want to leave and she lands that plane right on time (laughs) she does and like scones and bakery and so you know like sometimes there's just a perfect thing because again I love to sit across from you at a table and drink coffee and ask questions so it would have a little patio see how I tied that in yes I, I know. Um, but you could also drive through if you're busy. Okay. That, that makes it's sense. It's totally fine. Um, yeah. I have, I have a very side note, side note. Okay. So I have one of my past students. She's over in Australia right now. Mm-hmm. She told me that the lingo in Australia for any type of pastry, biscuit, whatever is scone. Scone. <laughs> but a, <laughs> a real scone <laughs> is scone. <laughs> So when you say, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> what it could be mean? anything. Okay. It could be banana okay. nut bread. It could be lemon loaf. Tom loves a good lemon loaf. <gasps> Don't I do? I, I prefer scone, a real one. I love scones. I just do. They're kind of a little hearty. I love. I I actually got in a scone making um, situation a couple years ago, and I just made them all. Oh, I loved them. That yeah. situation. That would be a situation. It's a lot of butter you know, situation. So and flour. And you know, I'm not doing that. So, uh, you know, just this. Well, that's this good. Life. Yeah, All that. Yeah. All that is so good. That would be it. Now, the other thing, I'm, I'm going to just add one more thing. I really would like to finish my microblading and, and then next door to the coffee hut, I would like to do a little beauty business. Like microblading, you know, maybe even like business coaching, you know, things like that there too. So I don't know. Then when you're done, you'll be like, are you thirsty? And then (laughs) after that, 
we would have a little wine night. There it is. <laughs> cocktails. I mean, I'm just going to own a city block and <laughs> you're just going to walk right on down. And I'd probably have fun earrings at the wine, at the wine hut. That's where that would go. Yeah. So that, I, love you know, I, have, this a, idea. I have a lot of time to think in my car. That's what I think about. So we know what fear is holding you back from. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, B, enough about me. What about you? Oh, finally. Um... <laughs> Don't play. <laughs> so uh, I went, you know, my mind immediately went to like extreme adventure. Okay. Because I was thinking the business, but then I was like, I have no idea what I would want to do at this sure. point. So my mind went to extreme adventure because the mm -hmm. reason I don't do a lot of things anymore is because I know I'm going to get hurt. I know my knees are going to give out, AKA oh. Frisbee. Right. Right. Um, or yeah. something else. So I would be like, let's go bungee jumping, which I've always wanted to do. Let's Cause go. You definitely need to not fail at that. Cause that failure would, would be death. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> death, harm or injury. So if I know I'm not going to get, hurt if I'm not going to fail at this I want to okay. do every single like top 10 adventure hike like would you want to hike across a mountain the open in the seas. snow like how you see like people go across like those ice ladders well would yes you want to do that do you know that I signed up to hike mm -hmm. to climb Mount, Ra Mount Rainier and then everybody in my group either got hurt or got pregnant so then we couldn't mm -hmm. go but I still mm -hmm. have a fifteen hundred dollar mm -hmm. um credit deposit okay so I could technically still do that. You know, I would want to do that to say that I did it. But again, my knees have always been the reason. Like coming down with a 70-pound pack off of Mount Rainier, like that mm -hmm. would just be devastating to me. So mm -hmm. that's kind of why I haven't pursued that still. But okay. another thing I would love to do is one of those squirrel suits where you just jump off whatever and you just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would fall. never, I would never do that. But if I knew it wasn't going to fail. Yes. Let's go jump. Mm, mm, mm. I, even if I knew I would not fail walking up a mountain and having to walk across the ladder with ice shoes and all I, and I knew I was going to make it, I would not do it. Really? No, I am so, I get like literally paralyzed, terrified at things. That doesn't, that even though I knew I was going to be okay, doesn't mean I'm still not going to be scared. Oh, okay. I okay. could, my body does not pass go sometimes yeah. on that stuff. <laughs> it does not pass go. Another thing that I would love to do is, and I still want to do this like for a birthday or something, but you okay. can go to racetracks and that you can, you can rent yeah. cars, you can drive your own, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can mm -hmm. go as fast as you want or go on the Autobahn. I want to go and just see how fast I can get up to. Really? Like I just. Okay. I would do now, that. I would do we that. have a professional race car track here in Kansas. Mm -hmm. You could come here and do that. Like, I know people who do that. Wouldn't that be fun? You would like to do that. You drive fast. Yeah, but no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I still don't want to do that either. I would so watch you and, like, be so excited for you. I do not want to do that. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Uh, uh You know, I'm really fighting and keeping a low anxiety life right now. <laughs> and all well, that of that just help. induces some real crazy. Makes like sense. even I think my heart just went up like 10 beats a minute. Like it just, yeah. Okay, that's breathe in four. Yeah. Hold for four. Breathe Exhale out for eight. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I, I don't want to, I don't want to kill your mojo. Let's, let's move on from okay. this question. You ask one now. What's, what's your first one you got for me? Okay, I think this is important, and we might have hit on it, okay. but I just think it's so important. So, would you? Um, oops, I'm on the wrong one. Would you characterize yourself as an introvert or an extrovert? It's a great question. Thank you. I automatically, I know I'm an extrovert, and I okay. know I'm learning about myself because I've gone back and forth on this one. I know yeah. I'm an extrovert and probably an extreme extrovert. Really extreme. And, but when I say extreme, I mean that because I'm also an extreme introvert to recover. Okay. So like yep. in and of itself, my personality, I'm kind of a chameleon where it's like if there's somebody else that's more extroverted, I'll be quiet and I'm totally fine with that. I just like okay. being in the presence of somebody that's really energetic 
even okay. if that has to be me sometimes. Okay. But then when I get enough of that and when I'm around too many people, like for me to recuperate, I have to be completely alone. It's yeah. silent or yep. very, very quiet, subdued. And yeah. sometimes just stare at a wall. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I so get that. And, um, I think that, um, I do think, so I think I'm kind of the same too. Like, I think I'm definitely, I have extroverted tendencies. I can get energized by, um, like if I, like, let's just say again, like I'm telling a story or if I am teaching or something like that. And I get really great energy feedback where everybody's kind of like enjoying it, leaning in that fuels me. Yes. And then I am like, or spotlight, laughing. here we go. Like <laughs> I, I, you just fueled my fire and there's no stopping me now. Like right. there's no landing the plane. It's just happening. <laughs> so I get energy from that. But also I, I think some of it is my anxiety and some of it is maybe my age. Like I've just kind of gotten a little bit more reserved also, but I am, I'm really good with like one, to, one on two people mm-hmm. or I'm totally fine to be just totally introverted, read a book, read a magazine, you know, go for a long walk by myself. Like that's very energizing for me too. And I do also recover that way. Yes. Yeah. I think we're very similar in that. That may be one area. I know. <laughs> we are that's like. the tie that binds us. And I actually <laughs> think that's called an ambivert, ambiv- ambivert, 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 ambivert. So that's what we are. Because, yeah. We're so it's a little mix. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm would you say though, do you lean more, you said extreme extrovert. So would you say you actually do I lean would, a little bit more that way? Um, I don't know if this is a tall tale sign of an extreme extrovert, but I would say it depends on the group of people. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like there's, there's some groups of people where yes, I would be the extreme extrovert. Sure. And then there's other groups where I would just be I'm the yes girl. Let's go along for the ride and make everybody happy. That's yeah. kind of my role. So, okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that really means that I'm an extreme extrovert, but I can, I can play that role. No problem. So funny that you said that. So I had to do an event a couple weeks ago and, um, it was, I know my account, but you know, like still like they just know me as the account person, like not, you know, interaction, not doing whatever. But so we're doing this training. There's probably 60, 50, 60 women there. And I remember going like I could read the crowd. I figured out what was going on. And if there wasn't some energy brought into that, it was going to be the lamest two hours of my life. (laughs) And so I just jumped in and I just remember asking a question, kind of feeding, you know, and just kind of doing that. And it like changed it up. So I felt the responsibility to like levitate the energy to this, even though I would have been really fine just to be like, "Eh, whatever, you know what I mean? But like, so I knew what it called for. And then I was like telling my internal self of like, okay, just got an email and they're like, they requested you to come back and do this thing. They really liked you. And, um, I was like, of course they did. <laughs> they I know have. what I was doing that day. <laughs> You're welcome. Have, I that took a your lot event. of energy. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So next question B, what do you have? Got us? you. The, my last question for you will be. Okay. How do you treat people who can do nothing for you? Oh, wow. I would like to take credit that I made that up, but I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but if I would have given you time, you probably could have conjured up something like that. Because you think I'm half Oprah, half <laughs> Brene Brown. So. I know. No, that's right. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. Um, you know what? Um people who could do nothing for me. I, I would like to think that I, uh, I bring just kindness and a smile to people who like, if I'm passing by somebody, you know, just to smile at them or kindness. And, um, I would like to think, you know, there's a saying that says, um, you better treat the janitor and the CEO the same, yeah. you know, with the same respect. Yep. I would really like to think that 
I do that. However, I also think sometimes I'm so in my own head that sometimes I am just kind of head down in my thoughts and I probably pass by people without even recognizing or acknowledging also. Yeah. I hear you on that. Um, but that would be unaware. Like you're, it's not that you're like purposely treating them differently. It's just, you're unaware because you're in your head. Right. So it's not, it's not like you're, you're outwardly trying to, but if you like, if you had a CEO in one hand and you had somebody that could do nothing for you in the other hand, and you are aware of the situation. Yeah. I would not treat somebody like garbage, um, over somebody in a different societal position better because you know there's actually some people who are very high in society ceo-esque presidential-esque that i would honest to god not even look at them and you better believe i would go buy the like a homeless person on a street a sandwich before i would even entertain a conversation over there i totally agree with you yeah um and so uh i feel real strong about that yeah also yeah what about you how would you answer yeah i would i would agree with you like that's what I would hope I would I would do and how I hope I would operate. I want to mm-hmm. say that I would I would almost favor the person that can't do anything for me because one of my mm-hmm. pet peeves and one of the things I've been burned by a lot are, are people that are manipulative or people that mm-hmm. um, you know that it's transactional relationship. Yeah. And yeah. I want nothing to do with those because it's, yeah. it's happened so much in the past it felt like. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And so I would almost favor... Not that this is right either. I would almost favor, you know, the person that can't do anything because it's it's pure and it's natural and it's yeah, it's real. Um, but I don't know. I mean, you can also say on one hand that you would, and then the very next one you're like, oh, this person knows this person, so if I get to know them, then yeah, you know, I mean, well, I'm not and there's some to things it. about we leverage, right? Because yeah. that's just kind of where the world does re, um, work in the um, the basis of who you know and who knows you. So there's places where we are leveraging without having to lose your integrity. Yeah. Right? Um, I have a situation um, super close that um, somebody is completely disrespected as a human being until there is a need. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, it just comes back and it's so manipulative and it's just, it, it actually makes me so mad that somebody can treat somebody like that and have zero regard for them yeah. as a person Yeah. until they need something. And, um, I, I just, I, that leaves such a nasty taste in my mouth that I can't even. So I think that I definitely, that I lean farther on the other side about yeah. kind of like you said. Yeah. Yeah. So be a good human. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. How about that? Folks. About that? <laughs> right. How Moral much of today. That? <laughs> Don't be a jackass. Don't be, because that's not nice. That is not <laughs> nice at all. Okay. So I have another question is, um, let me read this because I really liked the way that it was said. What impression do you think you give when you first meet someone? Because we hear all the time. <sighs> First impressions are the last impressions. People are going to make an assumption about you within the first 20 seconds of your conversation or meeting or passerby or whatever. Yeah. Two caveats. First one is I'm a wooer. So not to be misconstrued with manipulator or (laughs) kiss ass. Kiss ass. Because I'm the furthest thing from a kiss ass. I could care less about your ass. Yeah. Um, second caveat of this is I also think that it's predicated on the person because this, this can get like dicey for me. Okay. I can, I have this thing where I can read people immediately. Yeah. And if I, if I see you as again, like if you're nice, if you're energetic, if you're open, if you're outgoing, if you're whatever, then mm-hmm. I'm going to meet you as such. Like I'm always mm-hmm. going to be nice. I'm always going to be me. I'm always going to be friendly. Correct. Right. Right. But if I know that you are this arrogant, pompous, who's who person, mm-hmm. I'm going to be very standoffish and I'm going to meet you say, hi, my name is Shauna. Nice to meet you. But that's probably just about it because I want nothing to do mm-hmm. with you after that. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, 
Um, I referred to myself earlier as a chameleon because it's like I can I can kind of maneuver in different ways with different people, mm-hmm. however they jive. I'm always going to be friendly in that and nice, but I'm going to exert myself more in different areas depending on the person that I'm introduced to. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? So you're like feeding off of the energy that they're giving. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, yeah. I'm not... I just, I just, yeah. I, I know who... I know... I'm the same with everybody except the people who are arrogant, pompous, think mm-hmm. of the who's who. I want nothing to do with you, so I'll just yeah. say hi, and that's really just about it. So my first okay. impression with them might not be as great as a first impression with somebody else. Okay. Yeah, that's very fair. Yeah, and <laughs> honest. <laughs> well, if we're not real, we are nothing. That's right, <laughs> right. Um, so I think that... Um, I think that... One thing that's just kind of always been a natural thing for me is um, a couple months ago, I had somebody ask me, like, what is your, like, what would you say would be your mission statement? Like, what are you, what do you want to be known for or whatever? And I couldn't say it. I was, remember I told you, I was like, I think I'm tired. I don't know, but I think I know it, but today is just not a good day to ask me because I just don't feel it, you know? But I, I think that I am here to be an encourager with words. Okay. So however that needs to work, like that would be how I would say that is. So it's always been a part of who I am. And so as I've refined it and worked more in the professional world or whatever, um, and even in the beauty industry or whatever, you know, you're just, but I will compliment, like I will, call out something, even if we're just walking by and somebody has some really great lipstick or great shoes or, you know, whatever, I'll be like, your lipstick is amazing today. Or your eyeliner, you like you, or I love your hair. Like I just, I'm very quick to give a compliment yeah, yeah. and I really do mean it. And I'm not, you don't have to say anything back to me. Now, if you do, I'm going to be like, we are best friends now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, where are you going? Let's meet. And, but you know, like, that's just, that is, it, it really can change somebody's day and their posture by just calling out something that you see as beautiful in them, yeah. even though without wanting anything from right. them, right. you know? Um, so a lot of times that's that first impression of, of me is, um, oh, that's good. just going to be like, okay, now here's the other thing <laughs> that I think is really true. Um, so I can look put together in my professional world. I really am put together. That's my job. That's the role that I pray play. I like looking nice. You know, I like that too, but sometimes internally I am in my head or I'm super introverted or really I'm feeling insecure because of weird anxiety things. So I'm more even quiet and again in my head. And so I think sometimes that comes off as she's just a bitch, (laughs) you know? And really I, I am, I reserve that for very, very few places of my life. Now I can, and I will, but that's not really (laughs) what you're going to get from me first. Right. But I think that sometimes if I'm in that headspace where it makes me also go back and think about like people who I've walked up to or I've passed by or interacted with that are maybe in the same similar posture. And I'm like, well, wow, she was not, she would stick up her ass, you know, where really maybe she's just in her head. Maybe she's going through some things, you know what I mean? And so this last couple of years of just being in a weird place of anxiety, being in a weird, like some things have just shook inside of me. Um, that, I think that's kind of, it could come off that way first, even though that's really not what I want, you know, Tom did say, um, probably about two months ago, we were doing something and he goes, babe, you have RBF. (laughs) And I was like, you take that back. And he goes, no, you really do. And internally, Like I was so in my head, I was waging war (laughs) in my head, Uh, not anything that was going around us uh, situationally, but in my head. And I was like, I am so sorry. (laughs) I did not mean that. He was like, it almost scared me. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, So then, you know, I got my Botox tightened up and I was like, that's going to be better. (laughs) Like, you're not going to see that frown line so tight anymore. (laughs) 
Your your fixed the equation is Botox, Man, not zero. working on the inside. <laughs> expression happening on my forehead. You don't know if I'm surprised, happy, sad, mad, anything right now. See, clear. I know. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so there, there it is. Do you have any other questions you want to throw out there? No, but um, I want to be on your good side, not on your bad side. <laughs> <laughs> And B, would you say that that good side really? There's a there's a lot to that good side. There's the side so much to it, that good side. There's just you can't contain it. You can't you can't bottle it up. You can't measure it. It's not a quantitative state. It thank is, you. It is all we, encompassing. But we are where that bad side is. What's there? <laughs> I know, I know. Um, oh, and so and okay. here's what I also want to say to you. <clears throat> Dit toe. <laughs> so true. <laughs> because... I was just waiting. I am no Wait, different. That door is like, yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, these horns can poke right out of this skull real quick. <laughs> Dit toe, my friend. <laughs> oh, man. No, oh. so no, no more questions. I okay. think it was a, um, we covered whatever topic that was. It was real, mm -hmm. if nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I appreciate it's it. It's a Q&A of get to know your hosts. Like, you can't get to know us too much. Let's a little bit more into those girls. See what they really are thinking. And you're welcome. <laughs> you are welcome, listening audience. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> okay, B, so tell me this. Where are you winning and where are you yes. losing? Winning this week. My family officially got their tickets to come out here post-Christmas, so I am nice. super excited for that. Oh, perfect. It's actually going to happen, so very, very excited. Technically, okay. it's going to be January 2nd. However, okay. we're still going to celebrate Christmas, which means I get to keep my tree up longer, and I know you love that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, can I jump in for a quick second about it? I don't want it to be all about me. You sh Well, you sure can. <laughs> um we leave for europe on christmas day and we do not return until the fourth so guess whose tree is going to be up <laughs> way past any of the things that i talked about <laughs> so i'm with you okay that's good uh -huh. but not purposeful okay. i get that um mm -hmm. yeah so winning on that okay i want to say losing um i'm getting to the stage where i can't get comfortable oh dear are you in your third trimester? I am officially. officially. Okay, officially there. So, um, yeah. How's that body pillow working? Oh, it still is amazing. Okay. I did okay. have to go pee three times last night though, so that was kind of pissy. Three, literally. <laughs> <laughs> it was. But I'm <laughs> um, But three times. I know. And normally it's not like that. I don't know what was wrong. Do you? Did you drink while you got up, or you just it just kept? No, it pee. just yeah. it just kept okay. refilling oh. like I'm a camel. Oh but, my. Uh, yeah, it's getting to the point where I'm starting to get like sitting on the couch. I can't get comfortable from time to time. So, okay. uh, that's, I mean, but Hey, again, if that's my biggest loss, I'll take it. You know? Well, I mean, it. that just kind of comes with the territory. Yep. Yep. Okay. Your turn. All right. Where are you winning boss? Where are you winning? Where are you losing? Um, I am winning here. We had Friendsgiving. It's an annual tradition and, um, I started it. Uh, when I got divorced and uh, just got some friends together and just was like, nope, I'm going to, you know, be the host with the most, even with just girlfriends. And it has just evolved. And it was so great. The weather was amazing. We got to meet a new boyfriend of the tribe. Oh, and so he this just is jumped pre -snow. right in. Pre snow it, nice. It, it was 60 degrees. <laughs> we did the fire pit. We had windows open. I mean, it was a magical time. It was so great. Oh, that's yeah. So good. I'm glad um, it went well. So, and because I'm working really, really hard of like leaning into joy and being positive and, you know, attracting all of that good stuff and letting all the negative go away, I am looking forward to. This entire, like right now, it's the start of the parks holiday 2019. Yes. We are in it to win it. We got Starbucks cups the other day. Um, so we are, we are in the festivities. Is that until the true, we get back from Europe? Is that the true thing where it's like it, the minute that you get your Starbucks cups, yeah. that means it like that's the kickoff? That's the cutting of the ribbon? 
It is. Okay. And I'll tell you an off story um, of why that was a big deal. Um, but it kind of is, I, you know, I'm trying really hard not to do chain coffee. I'm trying to really find, you know, the mom and pops and all of Those that. Yes. But you still have to feed the beast, the machine one time, because <laughs> it really does kick it off the yeah. right way. And, um, but we are, we are in festivity mode from here on out. And I might I even play Christmas that. music. The tree goes up this weekend. Whoa. Yep. I know it. This tree's going to have some longevity because yes, we are, we're not back until January. It's going to be bare and brown by the time you guys get back. No, <laughs> it's artificial. Oh, it's okay. artificial. It's fine. Shoo. Tom did say, should we get an extra, like a real tree? And I was like, fool, <laughs> what are we doing? And he's like, you're right. Maybe next year. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So where I am losing mm -hmm. is it is November the 11th. It is Veterans Day. And we have snow and ice in Kansas City. <laughs> we so made bad. the national news where they called us out by city and they talked about the extreme weather changes. We are known more. To, listen to this. We are no more today for the terrible weather more than we are by the loss of the Chiefs yesterday. That actually That's is what's big. talked about more. That's actually really big news. I know. <laughs> then, okay. Because Patrick Mahomes had a 400-yard game, and we still freaking lost. <laughs> First game <laughs> back. Special team. teams just sucked big balls. Like, it was so <laughs> bad. Golly, it was terrible. So, anyways, my loss is the weather. <laughs> You lost me at big balls. Okay. I know. <laughs> so little I did I know. What's your little did I know for the week? Um, okay, so this is a, this is kind of serious, but little did I know about Veterans Day. I always like we I always knew it was observed. Mm -hmm. I do not come from a military family. Sure. And so it just was this observance that I was like I am happy to be a United States citizen. I tear up at the national anthem. Um, you know, I, I, I put my hand on my heart. There's those kind of things that I've just done observant, uh, an observation. Mm -hmm. But being married to a career decorated Marine and right. knowing those stories and, um, you know, we talked about the, the first six months that we dated, we we asked all kinds of questions and we shared all of the stories like, um, and so I learned so much and I've seen his recovery and his grief and his processing and, you know, um, all of that stuff that it, it, I, I love him so much that I've absorbed those stories like into yeah. my marrow. And, um, so there's a lot, there's yeah. a lot that goes with that. So that would be my little did I know. That's good. Just That's that good there is yeah. the deep impact behind Veterans Day and sure. Marine Corps birthday. Yeah. Okay, so B, what about you? My little did I know is I was over at a friend's house this past weekend, and the amazing taste of making homemade beef jerky on a smoker is wow. mind-boggling. Oh. We made five pounds of beef jerky. <laughs> did you? Yes, Okay. We married. This is with the new smoker that she got for mm -hmm. the wings. And we for did you. some okay. chicken wings too. But Good. the amazing taste that comes from marinating beef for two or almost a, a day, almost two days. Okay. And then you smoke that sucker for like four hours. Okay. <sighs> Little oh, did I know how amazing that is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so fun. I didn't know where you were going. Like I was hanging on every word and then you're like, I was thought I actually, at first I thought you were going to say bread. And then you said, beef jerky. Beef jerky. and I was like, okay, I can get behind that. That's good. Okay. Uh, B. Well, look at us. We are just a wealth of information and sharing today. Wide range, wide range for sure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, B. listen, I love it. So great. And I just, I hope you find a comfy place on the couch and you enjoy your beef jerky this week. Well, thank you. I'm going to, and hopefully I can find a, a comfy place watching the Seahawks today. Oh, that's right. You know, okay. Yep. But mm -hmm. yeah. But you have a wonderful okay. week. Celebrate your, you. your Veterans Day as For you sure. see fit. I sure will. And B, we're going to do this again next week. Because <laughs> that's what we do. 
That's right. You don't even know what we're going to talk about. We're going to do it again next week. And so, ne- neither do we. <laughs> I know. I know. So thanks for listening. You can find me at Steph K Parks on Instagram or Stephanie Parks on Facebook. And if you go to that page today, give my husband a like on his Veterans Day post. Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Shauna. And Zolan I landed that plane real quick, didn't I? You did. Good job. Where to land it? <laughs> Thank you, you can find me there on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Hope you have okay. a wonderful week. Hope you don't get in. Uh, snowed in or iced in your lips to God's ears. I I know you're right. right. Yeah. Okay. But all right. I love you. B. I'll see you soon. <laughs> love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.